So this is Taylor Kitsch's second film with Peter Berg. Let's hope it's better than Battleship. Lone Survivor is directed by Peter Berg and stars Mark Wahlberg, Taylor Kitsch, Ben Foster, Emil Hirsch, and Eric Bana. This is based on the true story of four Navy SEALs that are sent after this Al-Qaeda terrorist to take him out. They get pinned down by fire, and this is the story of how they work as hard as they possibly can to survive. Lone Survivor actually opened last year, very late in 2013, in an extremely limited release. Very few people were able to see this movie, and now I'm finally able to see it and tell you guys, this is a very intense movie, and a very well-made movie. I can honestly say this is one of the fastest paced films I have ever seen. The two hour runtime went by like that. In fact, when it ended, I was like, oh really? That was two hours? Because essentially the second and third act of this movie is really just a humongous action scene. And to say action scene is kind of a menial way to describe what is really taking place in this movie. Because you watch these four guys go through hell and back and you're thinking to yourself, this actually happened. Some of these men were shot multiple times to an absurd degree, and they're still crawling around trying to survive and trying to fight for their country. And it really gets your adrenaline pumping because these action scenes are filmed with brutal intensity. This is a very violent movie, but it's not gratuitously violent just to be violent. It is an extremely accurate depiction of the things that took place in the guy's book who actually wrote this. Now, Mark Wahlberg plays the main character in this movie, and his character is placed with an extremely difficult decision. In fact, all of the men are. Basically, the rest of the movie hinges on if they had made a certain decision or not. And so the movie does have a bit of a moral dilemma in it as well. It's not just a straight up action film. Now my main issue with the movie that makes it not like this mind-blowing experience for me but instead a very good film is the fact that I didn't really care so much for the characters. Now I'm not demeaning the actual men, the men who really went through these things. Those guys are just, that's incredible that that took place. What I'm talking about is really the filmmaking. I didn't really care so much for the characters because the movie starts out and it has, you know, your typical scenes where the characters are running around, they're training, they're talking, they're joking, they're poking fun at each other. And a lot of the humor felt kind of forced and you just didn't really care so much for the characters. Once the action starts, it was a very exciting and well done movie with incredible stunt work. And Peter Berg definitely likes scenes where actors fall down hills for a very long time. If you saw the rundown, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That scene was played for comedy. In here, it's absolutely bone crushing and you're wincing the entire time. The action is done extremely well. The last two thirds of this movie feel like a non-stop ride that never ends. I just wish I cared a little bit more about the characters. Nevertheless though, this is an extremely well done film in regards to what it tries to accomplish. And what it's trying to accomplish is detail the horrific things that these guys had to go through for this very brief period of time. And you are with them every step of the way and it's riveting. Mark Wahlberg was very good in this movie. This is one of the best performances I think he's ever given. And Taylor Kitsch also did a really good job. I think he's pretty good as a supporting role. He lends a lot as a supporting character. Emil Hirsch and Ben Foster were also fantastic. All the actors really had a good sense of brotherhood and you could really tell they were trying to honor the events that took place. Also, major props to whoever did the makeup. The makeup in this movie turned my stomach. All in all, I think this is a very exciting and well-made movie. I didn't care about the characters as much as I wanted to, but the actors' performances, Peter Berg's very good direction, and the mind-blowing action sequences definitely make this a film you should check out at some point. It is very gruesome though, I will warn you ahead of time. I'm gonna give Lone Survivor a B plus. So guys, if you have seen the movie, what do you think of it? What do you think of the characters' decisions they make throughout the film? What do you think of Peter Berg's direction? Did he redeem himself since Battleship? Did you like Battleship? Because <laughs> no, I don't hate Battleship, it just, it, it just wasn't really all that great. Guys, thanks as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized. Yeah.